<laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, uh, 11th. I am getting ready to leave for Lake Havasu City. So we should be there. We should be leaving shortly. Uh, breakfast is on its way. Um, hopefully we get packed and eat and get out of here, so. The only reason why I order from DoorDash, I don't have to worry about cleaning up, fixing it, or cleaning it up. So. <clears throat> I'll wait for it outside. That was fast. Hi. Thank you. You too. What's here? Breakfast is here. Nope. No freaking way. So we're going to eat and get ready and leave. So. To Lake Navasu City. We're on I-10, we're going to get off at Quartzsite and head north, go through Parker and Lake Havasu. We should be there hopefully soon, uh, hopefully by 12. Hopefully we'll get there before lunch, that'd be cool. So, and then that way we can walk around before we have to check into our hotel. Check in until 3, so, hopefully, yes, so. City. It's like we're in London, but we're not in London. Another couple days, great. great. Mm -hmm. We're at the visitor area. 
is what it looks like. Um, we have a fountain. City of uh, London. I don't know if you can see, but uh, if you can book the Sunset Cruise. Restaurant. Spread those out, Carol. Sometimes you don't need to. We're having lunch and I have a hot dog. We're right next to the London Thank Bridge. Um, of course, we're. I'm having a hot dog, French fries, and a lemonade. Looks pretty good myself. See. <laughs> Yum. Some yummy ice cream. Are you having a good time, Chris? What do you think? Yeah. We are back at the London Bridge area. We're about to get on our sunset boat cruise. Um, in about 10 minutes, I guess. Chris, are you having a ball of your life? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're about to get ready to go on our sunset cruise. We'll take you some, we'll film some of it. So. We're about to get ready to get on our sunset cruise. You know what? I have it. Let me show you. Here's the wonderful London Bridge. Imported here from London, in England. It's the reg uh, regional. Uh, bridge from London, England. We are having a good time here. It's been a while for me, so. Okay. All right, Captain Tim, everybody. Yeah. Hi, Captain Tim. Captain Tim is originally from Southern California. He's owned property here since 1985, but he's been spending most of his time down the Gulf of Mexico, driving boats out of Galveston, Texas, big boats. But now he's here. We're grateful to have Tim here. And uh, my name's Tom. I'm your narrator. My wife and I are from Western New York, near Buffalo, New York. Okay. <laughs> And um, she's a smart one in our family, and she said we should move out west in 2011. So we moved out west. We didn't discover Lake Havasu, though, until a couple of Februarys ago. We liked it so much we moved here that June, so that we're coming up on two years here, uh, come this coming uh, June. So that's our stories, and we're sticking to them. If we can go around the boat and then down the middle, find out where you folks are visiting from, that's always fun. Where are you guys from? Phoenix, Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale. Okay. How about you guys? Northern Wisconsin. Whereabouts? Ashland. Ashland? Right on Lake Superior. Okay. Oh, you guys oh, in the corner? Yeah. California. Whereabouts? Uh, near San Bernardino. Okay. Glendale, Arizona. All right, right down the road. <laughs> Mesa? Phoenix, right down the road. Northwest Illinois. Okay. How about you guys? Payson. Payson. Okay. Wow. Lake this is Havasu. great. 
I know, but not. We live here year round. <laughs> We're still figuring it out. Okay. Hey, right? how about it. you folks? Uh, Gilbert. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of uh, Arizonian and here. Yes. That's okay. The okay. Very cool. So today, folks, we're going to be out on the water approximately 90 minutes. Along the way, I'm going to be sharing with you the history of the Colorado River Valley, and we're going to be listening to some tune. We're going to be making our way approximately five miles into our South Lake Basin to visit a very scenic canyon called the Copper Canyon. And for the next 150 years, before it was replaced once again by the third bridge, which still spans the river today. Now, the biggest factor that played into the decision to replace this bridge with the new latest and greatest version was its sheer weight. Weighing 22 million pounds, this bridge was so heavy, it was actually sinking into the river mud at a rate of about one inch every six years. I know, that doesn't sound like a lot, but after 150 years, yeah. the yeah. bridge had become very unstable. So by the 1960s, the Londoners figured it was time to upgrade. They thought, let's build us something more accommodating and certainly lighter. This bridge, however, had a lot of historic and sentimental value to the Londoners, and they didn't want to see it simply dismantled and forgotten about. So they came up with a unique solution. They decided to put it on the auction block, hoping that somebody might buy it to display it somewhere else in the world. And as it turned out, our founding father of Lake Havasu City ended up doing just that. His name was Robert McCullough. Now, Mr. McCullough did a lot of things, but he's probably best known for his chainsaw. At one time, McCullough Chainsaw was the largest producer in the entire world. By 1960, Mr. McCullough got into land development, and he created Lake Havasu City and set it up for us to live. Later, he bought the London Bridge and relocated it here to be the centerpiece of his new master plan community. And without a doubt, the London Bridge is truly what put Lake Havasu City on the map. Believe it or not, it is the second most popular tourist attraction in the state of Arizona, second only to the Grand Canyon. So Mr. McCullough purchased the bridge for around two and a half million dollars, and then he numbered. It's not only a cute fact, it is also a question in trivial pursuits. Hang on to that one. Now, when we come through the bridge on the other side, I want you to look back at the lampposts on the roadway because they have a great story. Those lampposts are actually cast from cannons seized at the Battle of Waterloo. That was in the year 1815. The Londoners took some of Napoleon's cannon, melted them down, to cast those lampposts for their then new bridge. Wow. wow. So here we have the London Bridge in Lake Havasu City today. Right there, there's E.T. E.T. Von home. It's a, that's a joke bomb. Does it fluctuate <laughs> that much all the time? You see where the water line used to be in the rocks? Um, Does it go up and down that much every day? Well, Captain <laughs> Tim notices better than I do, but not very much. Well, I mean, it looks like a foot. I mean, all year. I, I, you can see where the water was earlier. It's come up a little bit in the last yeah. couple of days. But we've down about a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, and then it comes back the up in the monsters. The black, the black line. Do they have monsoons here like they do in the valley? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Yeah, monsoons travel down the river. Okay. So, welcome to California, by the way. Because yeah. Copper Canyon is actually in the state of California. Oh, so we're in California. It's part of Ooh, the Shemoebe Indian oh, Reservation. And the Shemoebes have a casino, bar, restaurant, and campsites here called Havasu oh, Landing. Now, ahead of us, that's Arizona and the Arizona shoreline. And if you look carefully along the Arizona shoreline, you can see campsites. There are actually about a hundred of these campsites from Lake Havasu City down to Parker Dam, which is still about 15 miles to the south of us. These campsites are first come, first serve. You can spend the day or camp out overnight. And they provide restrooms, picnic areas, and are only water access. And now, congratulations are in order. You folks have now been to the two most popular spots here on our lake. You've seen the London Bridge, and now you been the Copper Canyon. So give yourselves a well-earned round of applause. All right! All right. Woo so Captain Tim's going to be picking up the pace, and when he does, you want to make sure again that you keep everything secure. Sit back, relax. I'm enjoying this.
Oh, oh Chris, what? You did a whoosh. A what? <laughs> Chicken. This is fun. I enjoy that kind of ride. Yeah. Well, there's a fair over there, Carol. Huh? There's, there's a fair over there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try that too. Four four I was gonna I was to determine between the big island nachos. So that you said that's a pulled pork? So yeah, they're both gonna have the pulled pork on them. It's actually the same pulled pork that we put on the tacos as well. We make it fresh every morning. There if you'd like um if you'd like to try them both you're more than, I, I might suggest ordering both of them and then just splitting because the big island nachos are gonna be a big portion no, we and can then do the that. pork tacos come with two tacos there. Yeah, we can do that. I'll order the nachos and you can order the taco and then we'll just split it. Let's sure. see how, yeah. Yeah, and that way you can kind of try the best of both worlds. Now, quick question. Do you guys like spicy at all? or? I do. Really? Yeah? Okay. No jalapenos. Okay. Any, uh, no jalapenos. No jalapenos. I got you, honey. And then on the pork tacos, we put a mango salsa. It's not really spicy. It's mainly just there for flavor. Is that okay for yeah, you guys? Yeah, sure. Okay. All righty. I always like to double check just in case. This is just like a Hawaiian type thing, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. They did, it's kind of like a Tex-Mex meets Hawaii sort of thing. They, they really mixed up their menu, so you can't... It's hard to find stuff that they have anywhere else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Took me a little while to decipher it myself, though. So. Alrighty, honey, I'll sneak this out of the way for you. Thank you. Okay, we're splitting the. We we couldn't decide which one, so we order both. We're gonna uh, split it. The little the tacos and the nachos, full pork, both. So that's how you decide what to have. <laughs> so I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna try the nacho first. Let me move your phone out. My phone's too dirty. Park is good. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to try the tacos. If this is how good Hawaiian is, I'm going to take me to Hawaii and find So, you know, if Diane was here right now, she'd be so proud of me trying something new. Yeah. Diane. Good night from here. Um, I had a very good day, fantastic day. Um, enjoying myself today. Um, it's fun. I enjoyed the drive up, the drive over. Um, enjoy the, the sunset cruise tour and enjoy that delicious dinner I had tonight. Yummy. Um, now, um, I'm going to take it easy and I hope you everyone had a wonderful day like I did. <laughs> um, good night and I hope you guys sleep well. Oh, by the way,
If you like this video, you know what to do. Describe. Hit the like button. And even comment. Or comment. Thank you. Good night. And have a good night.